split squat is a popular variation of the squat in the kettlebell world. You have three options that you can choose from to hold the kettlebell. You can hold it by the horns. You can hold it by the horns upside down, which is probably the most challenging, or you can hold it by the bottom of the bale. So whichever way you want to hold it is fine. Basically, you want to have your feet a little bit wider than your hips. I'll hold the kettlebell upside down by the horns. That puts all the weight on top, so it's going to challenge you more. Um, but again, your, your preference. You hold the kettlebell, which is ever, whichever is comfortable for you, and then progress from there. But whichever way you choose to hold the kettlebell, make sure you monitor your form. Go down to your squat, elbows go to knees, and come back up. The, the kettlebell stays at your chest level the entire movement. So squat down and back up. Make sure you press back into your heels, keeping your weight mostly in your glutes. No arching your back. Let me show you from the side. So make sure you don't arch or round your back. Sit back into that squat. Your, all your weight should be on your heels and in your butt. And then come back up. So there you go. Hold the kettlebell however it's comfortable with you and do as many squats as you can. Just make sure you monitor your form, keeping your back neutral and your weight mostly in your heels and your butt. And enjoy.